Grant, um, you came into this in a character that was not really in the books. The Ooh. character in the books was very different than what they've written for you. How was it for you trying to find a character that didn't exist when everybody else really had an idea of who they were? Do you know what, though, I think, I mean, I kind of make jokes about the fact that in the book, Rupert is basically just a fat guy with a beard who makes jokes. Um, but in a way, it's kind of a fairly well-realized character. I know a lot of people like Rupert, and I felt like I kind of understood, and, and the Rupert in the book and the Rupert on the, in the scripts was kind of, they were on, you know, we were all on the same page. So it felt kind of natural to sort of, um, like, and like I say, once I started to relax into the part, I started to, you know, relax and enjoy myself. And then whenever I started enjoying myself as an actor, I started to read the comedy and scenes, and, and then I started to add in the lighter moments and the little things. And in fact, I can pinpoint it to a specific moment is um, in the shot, you know, when, uh, when Rupert's waiting at the stables uh, and Claire confronts him. And John Dow, the director, said to me, he's like, um, maybe you could be like, Peeling an apple uh, while you're waiting, and I just, it's a pet hate of mine. I hate this. It's like people kneeling on stage. No one ever does it in real life. <laughs> no one peels apples when they, you know. Uh, so I was like, no, no, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just kill time. And I started cleaning my nails, and I just looked really stupid when she turned around, and like I felt like I was being caught. And then I think that was the moment I was just like, oh, that's what Rupert is. He's just, um, he's just, you know, he's just me, basically, in the 18th century. And slightly braver, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Way more motivated. Ron, Ron loved Rupert Anderson. I mean, that was that was. was and just, Diana did too. He's just so that was great. in love with him, and um, I can't, you can't dump him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's, I did pitch. I did pitch the idea several times know, that it should be, you know, the adventures, continuing adventures of the baby and Claire serious. and Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that they were going to be big. I knew that I, I knew that the costumes on Outlander were going to be hugely over the top, especially when we got to season two. Um, and I anticipated that there'd be a bigger reaction than I think anyone else did on our side of the fence. I kept going, hey, you guys don't know what's coming at you. Um, uh, it's it's been tough sometimes. I mean, people there are fan favorites that people get really locked into. You know, the red dress was a was a trick, um, and I learned. I remember, like, because I'm being a middle-aged straight guy, I really don't know the costume at all. <laughs> but do you remember what? the wedding? Yes, you do. I know. I remember the I wedding. Remember the like, wedding when, dress. Um, when she had the red wedding dress on, and I, I just walked up to her. I was like, "Is that metal?" Like, yeah. totally <laughs> yeah. amazed. There was all these tiny little like ringlets. Or, um, yeah, it was crazy. Metal embroidery. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's um, <coughs> it, it it's it's hard because people have so. I mean, here we are. We're in Ohio. We're at a fan convention. You've flown in. I've You're flown in. Iowa. Iowa. <laughs> Iowa. Sorry. I make the same mistake. Oops. Um, <laughs> oops. Yeah. Um, but it. But um, you know, we're all here because you know somebody wrote a book a, a, a while ago, and um, and 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 people are deeply passionate about it, and they want to see it come to life exactly how they saw it in their head. Well. That's what 20 million people who each have an idea in their head what the wedding dress would look like, what the red mm -hmm. dress would look mm -hmm. like, what the, and um, and I was really committed to trying to hold up my part of that bargain, and uh, it got me into some hot water, and I I I I'm not promising I will continue. Mike, when did you just start? Did you still does it still bother you, or did, was there a point where you just let go and went I don't care? Which with, with that I don't care if people get yeah upset. You're, you're, you're like what part would you just accept that you're gonna annoy people? Oh, mm -hmm. I always accepted that. Right. <laughs> but but I it was it was more accepting that I wasn't going to be able to live up to 20 million people's mm -hmm. um, uh, investment, which made me sad because I wanted to make everybody really 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 happy. Mm -hmm. I wanted everybody to love whatever that was and. You're pretty happy. But but it, it but yeah no but it's hard you know it it it, it is hard so I'm 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 probably not going down that path too much more. <laughs>